Canon is poised to shake up the professional mirrorless camera market once again with the anticipated release of the Canon EOS R1 Mark II. This upcoming flagship model could very well become the first full-frame mirrorless camera to incorporate a global shutter sensor, a technology that has the potential to revolutionize both photography and filmmaking. If the rumors hold true, this innovation would eliminate the rolling shutter effect that has long been a limitation in digital imaging, removing compromises in image integrity and motion capture. The promise of a global shutter on the Canon EOS R1 Mark II signals a bold leap forward, and this video aims to explore everything known so far and why this camera could be Canon's most powerful and transformative flagship to date. Looking back, Canon's original EOS R1 earned its place as a fast, reliable, and professional-grade flagship camera. It built a reputation as a workhorse designed to meet the demanding needs of photographers who prioritize precision, speed, and durability. However, the camera industry is evolving at an unprecedented pace, and competitors have introduced new technologies that are challenging the status quo. Sony's introduction of the A93, a full-frame mirrorless camera featuring a global shutter sensor, has set a new benchmark for speed, autofocus accuracy, and image fidelity by completely eliminating rolling shutter distortions. Sony didn't just improve performance, it fundamentally changed what the market expects from a high-end mirrorless camera. This shift puts Canon in a fascinating and challenging position. The Canon EOS R1 Mark II is widely rumored to be Canon's answer to Sony's innovation. But simply matching Sony's global shutter technology isn't enough. Canon faces the complex task of integrating global shutter capabilities without sacrificing the distinctive qualities that have made their cameras beloved, especially Canon's renowned color science and advanced imaging pipeline. The question becomes not only if Canon can catch up but whether they can do so in a way that enhances the entire photographic experience, preserving image quality, dynamic range, and autofocus performance without compromise. Understanding why a global shutter matters requires a look at how traditional rolling shutters operate. Rolling shutters scan the sensor line by line, which can cause skewing, warping, or distortion in images when capturing fast-moving subjects. This is especially problematic in sports, wildlife photography, and motorsports, where quick action is the norm. A global shutter, by contrast, captures all pixels simultaneously, preserving the geometry of the scene and eliminating motion-induced artifacts. Sony's A93 is a prime example of what this technology enables, incredible shooting speeds, pinpoint autofocus, and distortion-free images at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. Meanwhile, Canon's current EOS R1 uses a stack sensor that, while extremely fast, still relies on a rolling shutter and struggles to match Sony in this particular arena. However, adopting global shutter technology is not a simple matter of copying specifications. It comes with technical trade-offs. Global shutter sensors typically have challenges in achieving the same dynamic range and low light sensitivity as rolling shutter sensors. Rolling shutters can adjust exposure across different sensor lines, providing greater tonal flexibility in difficult lighting conditions, whereas global shutters capture the entire frame in a single instant, which can potentially limit this flexibility. Canon's engineering challenge is therefore multidimensional, they need to deliver the speed and distortion-free image capture that Global Shutter promises, while maintaining or improving upon their legacy of rich color reproduction, tonal depth, and reliable autofocus performance. What makes the Canon EOS R1 Mark II particularly intriguing is that this is not Canon's first foray into Global Shutter technology. Back in 2016, Canon released the EOS C700G's PL, a high-end cinema camera that incorporated a global shutter sensor aimed at elite filmmakers. Though the camera's $40,000 price put it out of reach for most photographers, it demonstrated Canon's commitment and experience in this technology area. Since then, Canon has continued to refine its approach, filing patents and conducting research into high-speed imaging technologies behind the scenes. The absence of global shutter in Canon's mainstream mirrorless cameras until now is less about a lack of capability and more about timing, cost, and balancing the brand's core strengths. Global shutter sensors are inherently more complex and expensive to manufacture. They tend to consume more power and have historically faced challenges with image noise, which impacts low-light performance. For Canon, the challenge lies in integrating global shutter technology without undermining the qualities their professional users rely on most, superb color science, dynamic range, autofocus reliability, and system endurance. The EOS R1 Mark II is expected to be a flagship camera that excels across multiple demanding criteria, not just speed. It must combine ultra-fast frame rates and precise tracking autofocus with strong performance in low light and efficient battery usage. 
Canon's strategic approach also emphasizes a single, versatile flagship body that meets the broad needs of professionals rather than a fragmented lineup of highly specialized cameras. This means the EOS R1 Mark II needs to perform exceptionally in speed, resolution, autofocus, battery life, and video capabilities all at once. If Canon can successfully merge global shutter technology with its proprietary dual-pixel CMOS AF system and renowned image processing pipeline, the EOS R1 Mark II could become an indispensable tool for professionals working in fast-paced environments like sports photography, wildlife journalism, and high-end video production. Battery life might sound like a minor detail, but in professional context, it is absolutely critical. High-speed shooting, continuous autofocus, and recording high-resolution video all demand significant power. Professionals in arenas, studios, or remote locations cannot afford interruptions caused by frequent battery changes. For the EOS R1 Mark II to truly succeed as a flagship, Canon must ensure that it delivers both blazing speed and the stamina to endure long sessions without compromise. The importance of video performance cannot be overstated either. In today's hybrid market, photographers often double as filmmakers, requiring a camera that excels in both stills and motion capture. Rolling shutter artifacts, sometimes seen as jello-like distortions during rapid pans or fast action, have long hindered digital cinematography. A global shutter offers a clear solution to this problem. Canon, with its deep legacy in both cinema and still photography, is uniquely positioned to capitalize on this technology, blending its imaging expertise into one powerful, versatile platform that serves both photographers and filmmakers seamlessly. It's important to recognize that Canon is not operating in isolation. Sony's bold move with the A93 has already pushed global shutter into the mirrorless mainstream. Meanwhile, Nikon has shown serious intent to accelerate its sensor technology development, especially after acquiring RED, a company known for its cinematic expertise in sensor innovation. Nikon's access to RED's intellectual property, combined with its established partnership with Sony's sensor division, means the race to perfect global shutter technology is intensifying. Over the next few years, global shutter sensors are likely to become the new standard in high-end mirrorless cameras, making this a crucial moment for Canon. Canon certainly has the resources, expertise, and industry experience to lead this transition. However, success will demand not only technical excellence but also bold and timely execution. The EOS R1 Mark II isn't just another camera scheduled for release, it could be Canon's defining moment in the mirrorless era, the product that reasserts their leadership through innovation that truly advances the art and science of imaging. The stakes couldn't be higher. If Canon manages to integrate a global shutter sensor without sacrificing the low-light performance, dynamic range, autofocus accuracy, and battery life its users expect, the EOS R1 Mark II won't merely catch up to Sony, it will set a new benchmark for what a flagship camera can achieve. Pricing will naturally play a role. The original EOS R1 already targeted the premium segment, and the addition of cutting-edge sensor technology could push the Mark II's price even higher. But for professionals who rely on their gear to perform flawlessly under pressure, value is defined more by capability and reliability than by cost alone. Ultimately, the story of the EOS R1 Mark II is not just about the adoption of global shutter technology. It's about timing, integration, and vision. Canon is aiming to deliver a camera that doesn't simply imitate competitors but defines a new standard with its unique blend of performance, reliability, and image quality. The EOS R1 Mark II has the potential to re-establish Canon at the forefront of professional imaging, offering an uncompromising package that meets the rigorous demands of today's photographers and filmmakers in a single, powerful flagship.